You asked, what are the potential dangers of home insulation? Insulation is one of the most essential parts of any house. It works silently, 24-7 behind the scenes, keeping a place cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Proper insulation allows for home comfort, reducing noise and also cutting energy bills. But does it pose any dangers? Exposed insulation is often thought of as one of the biggest dangers related to insulation, but it is not overly unusual, particularly within a ceiling. In fact, keeping insulation exposed in these locations poses no real health hazard as long as it's not disturbed and as long as it is handled properly. Exposed insulation also makes it easier for homeowners to add additional insulation in the future. Really, times where you're not gonna have too much fun with your insulation is when it becomes ripped, wet, or even moldy. We are going to break down how safe insulation is, giving you some strategies on how to avoid dangers that can arise from improper insulation practices. One of the biggest risks of fiberglass insulation is that ongoing contact with it can cause what's called irritant contact dermatitis, a form of skin inflammation which can make you really itchy. Fiberglass insulation is a man-made mineral fiber made from materials such as sand and recycled glass. In Australia and New Zealand, it is particularly popular and much more prevalent than polyester and cellulose insulation, although it is certainly not as safe health-wise. Despite suggestions that fiberglass particles can cause cancer, a 2001 study by the International Agency for Cancer Research denies that there are carcinogenic risks to humans from fiberglass insulation. So if not cancer, then what risk does exposed fiberglass insulation cause? Even if you don't make physical contact with it, fiberglass insulation can cause skin and eye irritating particles in the air. What's even more alarming though, is that fiberglass irritates the lungs too, posing severe respiratory dangers over time. Most people are aware of the dangers of fiberglass and stay away, but children are naturally just more intrigued. They may get into contact with fiberglass, increasing their risk of itchy skin and allergic reactions. Unfinished room extensions, such as a garage stud wall where children might play, leftover insulation, or even builders leaving fluffy rolls of insulation exposed can all leave people, and especially children, at risk to the effects of fiberglass. It's it's advisable to wear protective equipment such as gloves, skin protection, hat, glasses and professional breathing masks when handling fiberglass insulation. Now, what is known as one of the most hazardous types of insulation is asbestos. Asbestos is a class of naturally occurring minerals made up of long silicon containing crystal fibers. While most asbestos has been removed from the modern day supply chain, the threat comes from the remaining asbestos in old pre-1970 home insulations, when the microscopic silicate fibers become airborne due to agitation. Most asbestos in roof cavities or floor insulation is likely inactive, although when insulative flooring and ceiling asbestos is disturbed, for example, ripped up to be restored, it can emit a cloud of dust into the air where it can stay for a long period of time. The dust has a high probability of containing cancerous fibers. If breathed in, asbestos fibers are inhaled deep into the lungs where they can stay for as long as 30 years with seemingly no effect. But during this time, the fibers irritate the lungs and any other part of the body they may travel to, disrupting cell division by interfering with chromosome distribution and changing important genetic material. This increases the chances of developing illnesses such as asbestosis and methocelioma, which can result in a loss of lung function and in the end, potentially death. If asbestos is in your home but not disturbed, Experts actually consider it quite safe, so really we cannot stress enough the need to avoid going into asbestos roofs and searching around. It's best left to the experts. One of the most common insulation types is cellulose insulation, which is mostly hazardous free, although it does come with some fire risks. Cellulose has paper-like qualities and despite being treated with fire retardants, based on the age and kind of electrical wiring, any brittle wiring in direct contact with insulation could be a real fire danger. Any heat generating items such as halogen lighting set back into the ceiling needs to be free of surrounding insulation. Insulation, especially in a roof cavity, should be checked every few years by a professional to ensure no mold has developed, that it is in good condition, and that rats, mice, and other vermin have not made the area their home. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.